Welcome back, people, to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7, Sword of Flame. Welcome to Chapter 13, In Search of Truth. Ellie would enter Santa Cruz, only to be attacked by a strange group. In a desperate moment, he is rescued by a childhood friend, Marquise Ostia's younger brother, Hector. The assailant's leader, Mr. Fat Person over there, reveals that an unknown party seeks Elliewood's head. Just his head, obviously. The rest of him obviously doesn't matter. He's obviously very brainy. Elliewood could not help but think that this is related to his father's disappearance in search for more traces of his father's footsteps. Elliewood sets off, sets out for the castle and of Lord Hellman. The Marquis of Santa Rose. Hmm, indeed. Chapter 13, In Search of Truth. Santa Rose Castle. What the hell is that? Right, we're in the castle. Oh god, great. Hmm. Wait a minute. Ah. Well, it looks like this guy knows our good friend Matty Boy. Hmm. That's very interesting to know. So, looks like that guy there, him, guy, looks like he uh, knows Matty Boy. Well, he just said about him. And there's obviously not two people in this game called Matthew, even though there are normally two people in a lot of things called Matthew, but we'll, we'll roll past that. Alright, Dorcas, throw that hand axe. And Bartry, actually, what's there? Those sorts of people. So let's go Oswin. There, what do we got here? We've got archers and knights, not knights, brigands. We are now about to be without one brigand. Thanks to Lowen. Come on, Rebecca. Yeah! Ba boom! Ka ba ba boom! There goes you! Right, uh. Bartree go over here. Hector here. We're gonna need some sort of wall. Marcus, you'll, you'll do. Matty boy. I think if we talk to Guy, just like we did with Dorcas, he'll join us. Uh. Sir, if you follow Dorcas and Oswin over there. Because we're going to attack that castle on two sides. Oh, God! Whew. Nearly got Elliewood there. Nearly caught Elliewood off guard. Luckily, Lowen is here to kick ass. And so is Matty Boy. You've pissed him off now. Double shot. And now Bex. Boom. Rebecca grows to the next level. Come on, strength increase this time. Oh, for God's sake. Rebecca, you can't stay at five strength forever. I will not use you if you are going to stay five strength forever. It'd be nice to have two archers on my team, because Will is devastatingly good. And, and then you got, you know, Rebecca, and that would be brilliant, but that's not going to happen, it looks like. Anyway, the snag is gone. Bang! The snag is gone. Actually, sir, I've changed my mind about you. Go back the other way. Oh. Archers. Gotta be wary of that guy guy. Let's go over here. What do we got here? Ooh, a mine! Mine, if you lay it down, can, uh... Yeah, it can do quite a lot of things. <laughs> One, it, it blows up and damages an opponent that steps on it. And two, if you stop the game right when the mine just hit, you can control your oppose your con control your opponents for one turn. This can be used to, for example, uh, attack the, your strongest units for them to die, or you can do what most people do, and that's make them drop their weapons. It's evil but effective. Lowen, you got the javelin equipped. Matty boy, down here. Elliewood, Hector, you do have your steel axe equipped now, 
And Bex. Nice. On the other side, we've got we've got the Wizard of Oz. And the Dork. Sarah, keep moving. Right. Let's go. Anything? No, nothing. Okay. Gotta watch out for that guy. Just in case he tries to kill us. He tries to just randomly kill us at any segment. Oh god, I think I'll put Ellie Wood in a bit of a tight spot here. No, I haven't. Just to make sure, I'm going to put Low in here to try and deflect some of the blow. I'm going to put Bartree here. I'm going to put my defensive wall here. He is now in striking range of, um... That of uh, that guy, guy. We're gonna put Matty Boy here, and hopefully the trap is now set. Just in case, sir, make your way down. As you can see, sir, level seven uh, it takes over all the uh, stats that she had in the last round. Well done, Marcus. Very well done. Oh! Very well done there from Elliewood. Another critical for him. Level up, level three. Not bad. Would have liked to strength increase, but you can't have it all. Elliewood is being one lucky son of a gun right now. Really, lo oh god. More of them. Ho ho. Lowen, you're up. Boom. Boom. Oh, Lowen, you didn't get the full kill, mate. Right, well first, might as well move Marcus out of the way. Matty boy. Go and talk to that guy. Ah, oh, they do know each other. Come on. Yay! Oh, Matty boy, well done. Guy has now joined us. Just like that. Guy joins us. Guy. Oh! Right, now, Guy, uh, the type of class that Guy is, Guy is a Mimrodon. They are known for their lethal critical hits. And he's got the Killing Edge, which is known for its lethal critical hits. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, he will crit. Basically. What I'm saying. Okay. Could go Bartry on you. Could go Hector on you. Or I could go Elliewood on you and kill you. Now that's a better option. That now gives me three people to take out this one guy. And that's because Bartry missed. Thank you, Bartry. As always, you've been a humongous help. Well done. Come on, Hector. Yeah! Go, Hector. Right, and to finish things off, Rebecca. Boom! Well done, Rebecca. Rebecca, you see, she's getting the kills in when they count, and that's sort of what matters here. Right. I don't even know who you are, are you? Oh, great, we get more bleeding torches. When we got torches in the last time round, we don't need any more torches. Right, he's healing up. Who's going to attack? Marcus, I'm guessing. Nope, he's attacking Guy. Nah, not bad, I guess. More people are coming to get their asses whooped. Lowen. Not bad, I guess. Could have been better, but that's fine. Level up for Lowen. Level 5. No strength increase, but he's got a defense increase, so that's all good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have Matthew trade over his iron sword. Boom. Now you're dead. Go, guy. Go, guy. Come on, Bartray. You the man. You the man. Go, Bartray. Go, Bartray. Ah, Bartray. Sir, it's going to heal up Elliewood because Elliewood needs the most healing. Yeah. 
And lastly, and axe. And there you go. Oh, <laughs> weapon level increase on a, on the snag. Oh, well done. Right, bomb. Oswin's gonna hopefully get a level up here. We should. What do we got? Oh, he's moving. He's he's leaving. He's leaving. He's being pl oh, Dorcas. Dork that Dorcas. Is that more? No, it's not. Just wanting up there instead. That Oswin, he keeps missing. Yeah, Dorcas gets a kill. It's not gonna matter, but Dorcas gets a kill. Hector, try and lure them. You too, Lowen. Well, actually, no. Get a healing from Sura first before you try, Lowen. We know what you're like, Lowen. You, you, you like to kill everything. Basically, you like to just go to hell with everything. And just give it your best shot regardless. And normally it doesn't work out for you. Matty boy here. Marcus. Bartry. Bartry the brute. Or Bartry the beast. Depending on your viewpoint on him. Either he's a brute or a beast. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, he's going for Lowen. And he regrets going for Lowen. Oh, this is just a free for all for Lowen here. Oh, he missed. That Lowen. Damn it, Lowen. Oh, there's Oswin there. Nice moves. Right. I'm going to kill him with Bartry. That's why I'm going to have Lowen. Has that guy got a... No, he hasn't. Good. Lowen. Javelin shot. Knock him out, please. Boom. Didn't expect that coming, did you? And now... Bartry. Boat. Yeah! Missed the first one, but you didn't miss the second one. Fair play to you, Bartry. Level up there! Just a HP. Okay, that's a bit worrying. Heal up on Rebecca. Just a, just again to give Sir some HP, some uh, health. Guy. Hector. Matty boy. And Elliewood. Oh, and Marcus as well. Can't get about Marcus, even though he's extremely forgettable. We're gonna go for an Iron Lance shot. Boom! You're dead! We move the Dork over here. Oh, he's gonna go for Marcus. Why? Oh, he's gonna go for Lowen. Why? I'm gonna move Lone's target to you. You're dead. Level up for Lowen again. Level six strength increase. Thank you very much, Lowen. Bartry. Iron Axe. You're dead. We have one guy left. The final guy. Balls. Boys. I always call balls for a minute. That'd be funny. Haha, <laughs> you're called balls. We got actually got any money. Yeah, we do have some money. Nice. Okay. We're gonna buy an iron sword. Uh huh. Probably a hand axe as well. And another iron. No, we can't buy another iron sword. Okay, fine. I love it that Marcus has been without a uh, weapon all this time. Just love it. It's all oh. okay. Boys is going to do a load of damage. We need to try and kill him. How are we going to do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Now Bartray can only do four to him. However, if we use the axe, he probably won't mount much of an offense against it. We could use Oswin with an Iron Lance, but it's 9 to 5, so he would probably get beaten. Rebecca can do no damage to him. Guy can also do no damage to him. Dorcas has a Steel Axe on him, so that might be our only bet. It's a shame we don't have any physical magic attacker, because that's sort of what we need. We're going to go Javelin Shot. 
and miss. Thank you, Oswin. Gonna trade a hand axe with Bartry. Hopefully now Bartry can do a bit of damage. Yep, he does three. And misses. This is the and misses episode. That'll do bugger all. Gonna heal up uh, Hector. We're gonna send Hector into battle soon. But first, Matty Boy is going to buy another iron sword. Actually, two iron swords. And an iron bow. Very nice. Okay. Let's try this again. Oswin. Come on, team. Start hitting. Thank you. Well done, Bartry. Blowing his javelin. So, Elliewood with a rapier. That sort of will do a bit. Okay. Right. We're gonna have to do this then. Boy's gonna heal up a little bit. He's gonna go for Elliewood. Oh, he hit. But we hit twice. Well done, Elliewood. Now you're gonna get a healing from Sura. Nearly put you back to normal health. So you've got to probably got to leave for a bit. Bartre. Dang it. Oz. For God's sake, team! Start hitting! Jeez. This is getting bad. Alright, we're gonna let you have that back. You can take the killing edge. We don't want it anymore. Ah, uh, God. Jaw, you know folks, I'm gonna see you back here when we beat this guy. Oh, I'm sorry, people. Boys didn't make it. But who cares? Yay! And that was a victory there for good old Bartry, who is a. Uh, Nearly level 7, so that's all good for him. Right, now I'm just going to get uh, good old Sarah to heal up everyone, and that's my mouse. Look, see? woo It's bloody happened again. It's the first time it's happened since the Pokemon Green LP, seriously. Anyway, we're just going to have everyone he being healed up by Sarah just to gain a bit more experience. Do -do 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 Actually, Marcus, be useful. Go and get a two more healing staffs. Thank you. Uh, they both need healing. Okay. Lowen. Dort Bartry doesn't need healing anymore. Matthew doesn't. Rebecca doesn't. Hector doesn't. Guy doesn't. Dorcas doesn't. Okay, so just so it's just Elliewood. It looks like. Okay, that's fine by me. Because I'll heal her. I'll heal him up with Sarah. She'll gain a bit more experience, and Elliot will seize the castle and seize the day! Up, oh, it's he Lord Hellman, you bastard. Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, he's dead. Great! That was fun, wasn't it? Ooh, a side quest! Why the hell not? I'm gonna do it here, though. Right, folks, I will see you back here for the next part of Fire Emblem 7, where we will be travelling. Chapter 13X. See you then.